Hey, welcome back to the big board. So uh, we're just wrapping up turn one and Soviets took a bit of a beating. Uh, that's the lost stack there. I know they're face down so you can't see them all. So it would have been smart if before I started this turn, I turned all these over. The majority of them are infantry. Uh, I rebuilt one, only one armor, only because I uh, decided to uh, improve the strength of the armor that I had, rather than build new ones. I actually even lost a headquarters as well, so it kind of sucked. Lost some cav. So we lost a bunch of guys. Lost a full air unit there. Three air units actually, so... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. About thirty. Thirty blocks worth of losses. Not too bad, I suppose, but uh, we then did uh, production and Let's just scoot over to the production thing over here. Uh, I elected to uh, begin the tech level upgrade and uh, build two armor and two air factories uh, because we want to accelerate our ability uh, to uh, generate red and blue uh, production points. And we also want to get out of tech level one just as fast as we can. Uh, did our strategic rail movement moves now? I wasn't sure with the rail movement whether or not, if you're in a hex uh, in a zoc uh, of the enemy, that you could use rail movement. I got lazy and uh, quickly read the rule and couldn't find anywhere saying you couldn't. So we railed out our parachute units, uh, airborne guys. I don't know where I moved them to. I pulled one back. There's one here. There's two guys here. So I moved them back to there. Uh, these guys here. So uh, we then, using pretty much what you would do in uh, perhaps some hex and counter games, put a shielding force in the front with uh, relatively weak units. That's as far as that guy can, that guy can get. And uh, then start building a stronger line along the Bug uh, River there pretty thin over here. There's lots of stacks of two two, uh, two, um, two chit, or two pip, I should say, blocks. But uh, the zone of control rules here, you don't have to stop with the zone of control, as far as I understand. Uh, and, I, and I need to reread that. It's a pretty fundamental thing. I think I would know that. But uh, this morning, for some reason, I just don't recall that. So there you go. I had some actual had kind of fun over here in Finland. Uh, the Finns kick some ass. The Finns are awesome. Uh, perhaps a little too awesome. But uh, those fives are tough. They're going to take two hits before they even take a step loss. And uh, they destroyed one unit and inflicted a loss on uh, the uh, armored unit there that you can see that's out of two. Uh, we repaired that Leningrad unit. And then uh, we made a surprise push here and did okay, forced a retreat, and we're headed to Murmansk. Why not, right? Uh, here we're just kind of hold, holding there. Uh, lost a step here. Uh, that fortress unit's kind of tough. Um, I didn't put that sticker on probably. He's hanging over the edge there, so he's peeling up. Um, got a little excited about getting started. Anyway, there you go. So that's kind of the end of... I've got to do supply, but I think everyone's in supply now. I took the units here, we had lost four units there, they went out of supply and uh, you get some uh, scavenger uh, production points. Uh, when you kill off units you can uh, you know take their fuel and I guess you can repurpose some of the bits and pieces. So we actually picked up as the access player, we picked up uh, two yellow production points and two uh, red production points. Sorry, four production points of yellow and two of red. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And uh, that should actually be off because we're at zero, not one. And uh, let me see. Yeah, if I had done this track, if they did this track again, I would put this as zero here so that you can keep everything. And I would actually provide specific blocks for the production tracks. Uh, rather than me grabbing the yellow blocks. I don't know why I need all these, uh, because if I use the track, I don't need to use them. They're nice to kind of highlight what you're doing out on the map, but I don't need a bunch of different blocks. I've got this track thing here, right? So anyway, 
I'm not sure what the purpose of that was, and maybe I'm missing something. Anyway, uh, so the good news there is we picked up four points. I gave them to the Allies. These are the Allies. See, and here, how am I going to keep track of uh, Italian versus uh, Hungarian or Romanian? or uh, It's Romanian, I think. Yeah. Uh, how am I going to keep track of which is which? Uh, that's annoying. Uh, I can change the color, but I don't want to do blue because I'm using blue up here for my air points. Anyway, minor, minor, minor quibbles. We're having a bit of fun, feeling like we're playing a Russian front game, and uh, let's see how the next turn falls out. That's going to be uh, July 41. All right, there we go.